All right, it is the next day. Today is our little selling adventure. I kind of hate selling at consignment stores because they've gotten so incredibly picky in the last couple years that usually I bring in like a bag of clothes and they take like one thing and they give you like $6 of store credit. So pray for me that this goes well because drove all the way to Studio City for nothing. Justin and I went to Hank's Bagels this morning and I would show you, but I ate it in point five seconds flat and it was so good. But now Justin is on his way to Fresno to see his family and I am gonna have my little adventure with you guys. So buckle up. First location is Wasteland in Studio City. They're a little bit you know, they're like the cool kids of like consignment stores. Like you can't really sell anything there unless it's like designer or like really nice or great condition. So I'm taking things like my like Aritzia, like Wilfred pants and like these white fox shorts. So hopefully they take something. I will update you on what happens when I get back. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is they took some of my stuff, which is amazing. That like has never happened before. The bad news is I used um, the cash on something I found in the store. So I basically just, like I used it towards something else. But to me, this is justified because I have been looking for this exact thing for a really long time and they had them and they were my size. So I had to get them, but they're like these knee high brown crocodile boots and they're so cute. So we did a little switcheroo. We did a little trade. I'm actually glad I did that. I wasn't going to go to Wasteland today because I was like, they suck and they never give me anything, but I'm glad that we did because now I have boots. <sighs> Okay, that was kind of a waste of my time though. So now we are going to the second tier and that is Crossroads. It's right down the street. I think I need a little beverage though. Maybe we'll do this and then we'll get a beverage after. Okay, round two, let's go. Okay, we're at Crossroads. I parked, I got a good parking spot, but we hit another speed bump. I am number 17 in line. I checked it on the app, so that's how I know. So we're gonna go get some coffee and like a little snack and then we're gonna come back. Cause that's like, I'm guessing two hours, maybe, maybe more. Would it be smart if I went to Buffalo first? I don't know what to do. And I don't have my laptop with me. I wish I did so I could just edit. <sighs> By the way, if you get these Touchland hand sanitizers, the vanilla blossom scent, elite. All right, let's go kill some time. Time for a fun little montage of me on a date with myself. Yeah. Okay, it's been, uh, you are, I keep fixing my bun and it keeps looking weird. It looks so good this morning. I went to Civil Coffee in Studio City and I got an iced Figueroa, but I made a dire mistake and got it with whole milk. And they were so busy, I wasn't gonna ask them to make it again. So I think I feel fine right now. We'll see what happens. But I am back at Crossroads. I was like checking the app to see what place in line I was. And I was 17th at first. And then when I got to the coffee shop, I was like 14th in line. And then I checked the app like 15 minutes later and I was fourth and I was like, so I had to go immediately. We got really good parking and we're ready to go in. I'm not ready to take all these bags, but I guess this will be our workout for the day. Does that look okay? I cannot do, see, like, oh, I can't go in there with a bun that does not feel good. Okay. Let me tell you about my experience. That was very successful. They took like half my stuff basically because you guys saw how much was on my bed last night. I filled up four trash bags with all of that stuff. They took half of it. Now I only have two trash bags. That's incredible. Wow. Honestly, we love that. Now we are going to the bottom tier. We are going to, well, this isn't the bottom tier yet, but we are going to the next tier. <sighs> 
we are going to Buffalo Exchange. I have had great luck with them in the past. The only problem is they take a lot, but they don't pay you that much, which at this point, I'm just like, I'm gonna donate the rest of it. So I don't care what I get. I just wanna like try to sell as much of it as possible. So here we go, stop number three. Let's go. Before we go, I forgot. They gave me so much for everything that I was like, let me just look around a little bit. So I looked around. I was looking for like anything bridal that I can wear to like bridal appointments in the future. And I found something and it's actually very cute. Um, I don't want it to touch any of my stuff because I haven't washed it yet. It's this. It's okay. It's this like twist front cutout maxi dress. So it's pretty long, but I think it's gonna look really cute on. I'm not sure it's my size and it looks like really small, but really stretchy. So hopefully it looks good. And if not, it's going back to the thrift store. I do not regret buying the two items that I bought today at the thrift stores because it's basically a whole outfit. Like I have a cute little maxi dress and like knee high boots. I have a new outfit and it was free. All right, it is our third out of fourth stop on the field trip. Here we are at Buffalo Exchange in Sherman Oaks, California. Everybody wish me and my final bag good luck. Um, oh, my final two bags, good luck. Hopefully I'm the only one that comes back into the car. But yeah, good vibes, everyone. Uh, oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> this was a really good idea though. Okay, so they took about one bag of stuff, which is amazing. At this point, I don't even care. I was just like, I want to go home. So I am ending the day with one bag of donation that nobody wanted, unfortunately. But that is incredible. I sold three bags of clothes. They didn't go to waste and we got paid. So let's go get a little treat. Let's go treat ourselves for all that hard work. Also, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did use some of the store credit again this time on something else. Oh my God. There was a lot of good stuff in there and usually there's not, but today it was just so I will show you what I got when we get home because I'm I'm going to pass out right now. <laughs> I need to actually wash my hands, so we're going to find a little restroom to do that. thought five dollar chicken at Gelson's would be so incredible. My mom used to get me that like those like chicken tenders from Gelson's from the hot section when I was a kid and to this day they still pop off just as much and um we got a classic olipop we got the strawberry vanilla i am obsessed with the cream soda flavor and they don't have it anywhere and it pisses me off because i've had it once and now i'm obsessed and i can't find it so i might just have to order like a case online or something all right very last stop very last stop and then we get to go home is Goodwill. Oh my God, I want my car to be empty and then I will be happy, but I can't be happy until that's done. So let's go do it. Oh, I don't know if the donation centers are open. I will update you. It is two days later from when I vlogged last, but I was putting my laundry away and I realized that I didn't show you the stuff I got at the thrift store. And I know everybody wanted to see so bad. Everyone was like, show us. So here I am showing you. Ignore my hair right now. I had to re-wet it because I, so, I went to bed with it wet last night and I woke up and was absolutely crazy, but I had to go straight to work. So I re-wet it so I could style it for tomorrow, but it is, it's just a little frizzy. But yeah, let's do a super mini quick haul. I have my Olipop, of course, at all times. Cherry vanilla, probably the third best flavor. Cream soda comes first. Strawberry vanilla, strong second. And cherry vanilla, if anyone was wondering. Anyway, let's do our little haul. So the first thing is this 
hello my socks is this midi maxi dress i got from crossroads and remember i said i wanted something like for bridal stuff i'm not gonna wear this to my rehearsal dinner or anything nothing crazy but i did want something for like dress appointments venue tours going to talk to the florist going to you know have a little brunch with my my bridesmaids what have you i'm not going to show you the back because it is a little bit see-through so obviously i need like the right undergarments for it but i thought it was really cute so i got it and it was free 99 thank you very much the next thing are these boots i got from wasteland i am obsessed with them like literally so cute you can't like see the color right now but i will wear them in the daytime and you'll be able to see them better i'm obsessed i'm so happy i got these they're so comfy i don't know what brand they are because they don't have a brand name on them so they could have like done me dirty and given me like some shein boots or something but hopefully hopefully not hopefully they're like super nice and we got them for free everything was free the next thing i'm <laughs> I look like, with my wet hair and this coat, I look like Rachel McAdams in Hot Chick when she's like, she's like asking for money. Um, anyway, I got this trench coat from Buffalo and I, what's like, scored is such a nerdy word for it, but I scored. Like, it's so cute. Again, you can't like really see it. Why do I have my leg back there? Let's turn around. Okay, is this better? It's like snakeskin shiny patent leather kind of vibe and then it has a belt which i actually really like the belt like it gives a vibe um but yeah so cute and free it was free and the last thing i also got from buffalo when i was there and it won't really look good with the dress that i'm wearing so don't think about it this way like i'm gonna wear it you know out like this but it's this men's oversized leather vest. It's like vintage or I don't know, maybe it's just like really old. But I saw this photo on Pinterest like a million years ago. And it's like one of these, le let me just put it here. It's like a leather vest with like the white button down and like knee high boots. So cute. And I haven't been able to find one of these anywhere except for like Depop and they're kind of overpriced. This was $15. So, I mean, it was free. Um, I love it and I think it's so cute. I can't wait to wear that look. It's gonna be such a look. And yeah, that's the last thing I got, but I'm so happy with the thing. Like every single thing is something that I have been wanting for a while and I haven't been able to find except for the white dress, but successful day. And it only took selling my entire closet to do it. That is my haul. I'm super excited to wear all of these things and then take them out of my closet in the future and sell them back. It's the circle of life. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for keeping me company while I did all of these like mundane things. I actually had a lot of fun filming this and I'm probably, I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna do it again. But anyway, if you wanna see anything else in the future that is related to this content, let me know. Leave a comment for me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than anything in the entire world. And I will see you next time. By the way, the wedding venue that I picked in the last vlog, um, we changed our mind. So that's gonna be in the next vlog. You'll get to see our real wedding venue. Okay, bye. Go clean your closet out. Go make some money. Get that bag. Get those free items. Get an Olipop. Protect your gut. All right, don't listen to me. Goodbye.